beautiful budgeters welcome back to learning to budget at 40 where i at 40 am learning to once again budget get a handle on my finances along with career change weight loss pretty much life overhaul on this channel i mostly focus on budgeting i use the zero based budgeting method to tell my money where to go i use a cash envelope system to you know, uh, create sinking funds and save for items and bills that I know are upcoming. Uh, this is my part-time budget book. I do have a full-time budget Excel sheet that I use because I divide that money into more places. Uh, I am Dave Ramsey inspired. I am not doing beans and rice. I, I mean, I should. That would probably, six months of beans and rice would probably change my whole life. However, it's not realistic for me. So this budget is to me, I do budget for things like fun, um, massages, skincare, makeup, Botox. I mean, I said I was 40, so hair, nail appointments. However, I did get rid of my acrylics. I am doing DIY gel nails, um, but I do go to the salon. I try to go once a month to get like a cuticle cleanup and then she'll do my nails there. So here, I just show how I budget my money. I do work a part-time job. This is my part-time job budget book. And I do have other videos for my full-time job budgeting, which um, features an Excel sheet. So if that is something that you are interested in, stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. So this is my part-time job pharmacy budgeting setup. Uh, today, we are working with $902.79, and if that sounds a little high for a part-time job budget paycheck, it is. See, before I went part-time, I used to work for them full-time, so I racked up some PTO, and they cashed me out for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> so hopefully I still have my part-time job on Sunday when I go in. So, like I said, we are working with $902.79. Now, that is what is, um, was deposited into my Capital One checking account. That is my everyday use account. Let me grab a pen. I feel like paycheck number was going to be in blue. Let me bring you guys in a little closer so that you guys can see my numbers. Hopefully that'll do. I know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's just bring you guys just a tad bit higher. So paycheck, 902, that is after taxes, uh, retirement. I do um, put aside a little bit of money. I don't, I forgot if it's like a percentage or if it's like straight $15, but I always try to save for retirement. Like I said, I am 40. I wish I would have started in my 20s by like adding at least $10 into this retirement or if I just knew better. However, I come from like a kind of a poor and ignorant family. I hate to say that, but they don't watch my channel, so it'll be okay. They don't know I have a channel, so it's okay. So um, this is my paycheck. So that that's even after um, what I do with this paycheck is I have $142.50 put into my Patelco credit union account. That is, that used to be my emergency fund uh, checking account. And that is where I have a personal loan. So that 42, that $142.50 is half of my payment. So that it gets automatically deducted and it gets sent over there. So for my debit purchases or my debit uh, amounts that I will not be withdrawing, I'm going to use this color. Uh, it's like a pretty teal. So church, I'm going to give my church uh, $90. Um, I bought a mic on Amazon for my channel. So that was $18.95. Mother's Day gifts. Um, I had to buy, I didn't have to buy I chose to buy my boyfriend's mother and my sister a Mother's Day gift on Amazon, so I had to take that out. And then what I want to do, since I was not expecting this money, is send an extra payment to my personal loan account. So that's going to be $285. I'm just going to round up. 
So let's take a look and see what we have left over. So I have 902.79 minus 1895 minus 4070 minus 285. Got it. So now we have 500. $58.14. Now for my cash stuffing envelope, guys, I am going to be cash stuffing $400. So we're going to do... Uh, hmm. Okay. Let me clear that out. So I pulled out $400 already out of my account. So let me go ahead and count that. I have 100 200 300 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400. So let me go ahead and put my money aside here. My little dividers get a little organized here. One thing that I learned with budgeting is that you have to be organized or else you're going to forget something, you're going to miss something, you're going to miscalculate something. And that just messes you up and it throws your whole budget off so say so, so since I have five hundred and fifty eight dollars and fourteen cents however I am going to be cash stuffing four hundred dollars so I'm gonna have some money left over and that's fine because what I'm gonna do with that leftover is send that over to my uh, um, debt snowball college avenue so let's go ahead and budget the rest of my cash stuffing um, leftover money. So I'll bring you guys in again a little bit closer. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but let me try one other thing. Okay, major close up there. So on my cash stuffing binder, my yearly binder, just really quickly, I probably should have done this before, but I have a goal for my yearly subscriptions to have $120 in here. I have 20, so this paycheck is what I use to fund my yearly binder. This is my yearly binder. Uh, so yearly subscription, I'm just gonna do YS gets $100. Um, in this envelope, if, sorry, in this binder, I also have Christmas. So Christmas is gonna get 50. And then Halloween is gonna get 50 as well. Um, I usually spend money, Halloween this 50 is going to go for decorations and maybe a bag of candy. We don't get trick-or-treaters anymore. I don't think people do that anymore, especially because of COVID. Uh, Christmas, I will have to start budgeting probably $10 a paycheck for gifts and decorations as well. So I'm going to start that now, but this will be my starter. Then moving out of my yearly binder and into my monthly I call it my monthly binder because I try to stuff these categories every month so for pets because my two cats both have appointments uh, I have a cat named Morticia and if you haven't guessed they're both black so Morticia Adams has a tartar removal appointment this month in about a week I think it's a week or it's this coming Monday uh, by the way I feel this I know this video comes out on Monday, but I filmed this before Monday. And then uh, car maintenance. Oh, wait, yeah, Morticia has an appointment, and then so does Wednesday. She has an appointment in June. And then car maintenance. I have a car maintenance appointment coming up. I think it's in June as well. So I'm going to put $100 in there too. So five, five, $550.14. Minus 100, minus 50, minus 50, minus 100, minus 100. We have 158, 14 left over for my debt snowball, which is my College Avenue payment. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and start stuffing our envelopes. As I mentioned before, this is my yearly binder. This is what I primarily use my part-time job to stuff. Um, I, When I first started budgeting my part-time job, I didn't have a game plan. And then I decided to create one, and this is what I came up with, was my part-time paycheck stuffs these categories. And if you're just kind of curious, this is where I keep... Um, <clears throat> so I have a clothing envelope, and I have a makeup and skincare envelope. So whenever, if I make a purchase online... 
I put that money in here, which is then going to go um, back to the bank. And then my $1 challenge, $5 challenge, and then obviously my yearly subscription. My goal was $120, and right now I have $20 in here. But now with $100 I'm going to put in here, goal is met. This is going to go to the tr in the trash. And I'm going to go ahead and put 20, 120, deposit. I don't really date these. I just, I don't know. I'm not for something like this that I'm not going to use very often. I think I have my, um, <clears throat> what do I have? I have my Fitness Pal subscription. I believe that's going to be renewed in July. So I will deposit some of that money into my account. Christmas and Halloween each are going to get $50. So let me go ahead. I am going to fill out this card because I do want to keep track of what I am depositing and spending. But on this one, just because I would like to have... For Halloween, I'd like to have $100 in here because I would like to spend a bit more money on decorations, especially after Halloween decorations. And then Christmas, oh, I don't have a little tag on this one. Let me find one. Oh, I'll take care of it later. We're going to go ahead and put 50. So 10, 30, 50. 50. I'm not sure how much money I want to have for Christmas, but I know I want to have quite a bit because we will be driving to Southern California. Uh, it's not very far, but I mean, gas is expensive right now, so... Next, guys, we are going to be stuffing pets and car maintenance. So this is my bi-monthly binder. These are the categories that I like to stuff at least once a month. Uh, let's take a look. My credit cards, I don't keep them in my wallet because I don't want to charge anything. So that's that. Pet gets 100 Like I mentioned before, my kitties have appointments coming up, so... I have $610 and then I'm going to add 100 so this will now be $710. Let's go ahead and do a deposit, plus 100, 710, let's go ahead and count this. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 710. Fantastic. I hope that is more than enough for these two kitties. I'm still going to be stuffing. Um, like $10 a paycheck or $20 a month into this category. Um, one of my cats is now a senior, so I have to make sure I have money in there for her. And I'm going to actually get pet insurance. I'm going to go ahead and deposit $100 into my car maintenance. Like I mentioned previously, I do have a car maintenance scheduled for the Honda dealership. I have an older car. It's a 2013 Honda Fit. Economical. I used to travel for work, so that was the car that I bought at that time. However, this car is great on gas. It has never given me problems. And one thing that I did right off the bat was take this car to the dealership because I bought it brand new. So I would take it to the dealership that I bought it at because they would wash my car and like free car uh, oil changes, whatever. The deal sounded good. The most I have ever paid at the dealership was $700, but I got four brand new tires and I got the tires that, um, what are they, Goodyear? So I'm going to just keep going to the dealership because I've never had problems because even after I moved from Southern California to Northern California, I went to a dealership there, Honda dealership, same thing, great service. And I'm going to keep doing that here in Nevada. So now I, now in car maintenance, I should have $220. So let's count this. 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220. This should be more than enough. What my goal, what I would, when I was doing well and I was not in debt, my goal was to always have at least $300 in this envelope. That way, um, way I never had to worry about car maintenance. The money would just be here. Boom, you know. If something happened in a pinch, I could just grab the money and not worry about it. So, for this pay period, for my part-time pharmacy tech paycheck, uh, thanks to my unexpected PTO payout, 
I will be paying, I'm adding the totals of what I'm paying towards my debt. I will be paying $558.64 towards my debt. I will be making an extra personal loan payment along with my regular payment this month. So that way I will, a month is gone. So awesome. It'll save you money on interest. College Avenue is going to be getting money. Perfect. What more could I want? So that is it for this paycheck, guys, or this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you ever have any questions. If I didn't make myself clear, please let me know. I want to make sure that I'm speaking clearly and convey my thoughts out properly. I do tend to ramble and get my thoughts mixed up because I have so many things in my head. And that is one, one of the reasons why I decided to create this channel was to budget and to learn how to be comfortable speaking to others because I am so socially awkward. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.